Yeah! Eric Andreas, your guitar sage here. Today we're going to learn how to play Sweet Home Alabama. How have I not taught this song already, right? Should have been my first video. What was my first video? Alright gang, we're going to learn about strumming today. And this video... I don't remember. Okay, so, um, here we go. This song is actually really easy to play. There's some really cool licks that really spice it up. But if you want it to be lazy, you could just play simply D, C, add 9, and a G. If you don't know those chords, you need to know them because you're going to use them a lot. Hit the link below, yourguitarsage.com. Get the free ebook. It'll help a ton with this kind of stuff. Um, otherwise, we're building the licks off of these, okay? So the first bit, you're just going to be playing strings two, three, and four. You won't even play that high note there. And you're going to go. So you're going to hit that note, that D, twice. So like. And I'm muting it there. And then the next chord, you're going to hold like this. You don't even have to hold that pinky up there. Your third finger stays the same. Then you put strings of uh, fingers one and two on strings uh, four and five at frets two and three. It's kind of like a C chord, but you're playing it with fingers two and three. So basically the same lick again, except you're hitting the low C instead of the D and then arpeggiating through the chord. And arpeggio is when you strum slowly through a chord. So, and then a G. Okay, now, there's so many different variations that you could play of this because they play this riff like a bazillion times, plus like two more times, two repeats at the end of that bazillion. Uh, and so, you can do all sorts of different things with it, noodle around with these notes, okay? Chord noodling, what I call chord noodling. If you want to know more about that, here on YouTube, type in chord noodling your guitar stage, and I'll show you exactly this technique in action so that you can do it for your own songs. So, you go like this. And so at this end, he goes two Gs and then just kind of hits the chord. And then this riff goes. Okay, and so what you're going to do is you're going to hammer 0202 on strings 5 and 4. Okay, hammer on and pull off. So hammer on is when you hammer a note like this. And pull off is when you pull it off like. Okay, it takes a little getting used to. But um, it's well worth the price of admission. Okay, so here we go. So you're going to go. So I was on the fifth string and the fourth string. And then you're going to pick this B. And you're going to pick this note here, which is a two, and pull off to zero. So it's going to go like this. So. Easy enough, right? What? What was that? Okay, I'm gonna show you. It's on the G string on your guitar. Dirty minds. So, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna pick on this G string here and you're gonna go. playing with you there. But you're going to you're going to pull off 2 4 and then bend 5. Okay? I'm going to bend it up a whole step. Bending it up to that note right there. Okay? And so hit this note Pick, 
pull off, and then hit it one more time on the way up. Get it? Okay. Now, that is the basic part of the song. So together it's going to sound like this. So that's right before you start singing, and, and that little lick goes like this. You pick A, hammer on to two, and then pick strings four and three. Right? Easy enough. Now, um, we have this... Uh Okay, I'll play it a little bit faster for you. It's going to look like this. Okay. I didn't know this lick until about three seconds ago when Tim showed it to me. Tim, yes, Tim, the camera guy, pedal guy. I forgot about this lick. So he just showed it to me. That's why I'm a little rusty on it. So it's going to go like this. It's cool. It's a little like a blues lick, and they're using the flat five here. Um, it's a blues term. Um, okay, so he uses the flat five here, and so what's happening is he's going to roll, going to hammer from seven to nine like this. One pick, three notes. I'm just going to hit this note right here, which is a D. Slide it down. Okay, then you're going to hammer five to seven on the A string. That's a double stop on strings three and four. It's the fifth fret. So you're going to hammer. So. That's a great just blues lick just to know. Okay, and then you're gonna slide that note down. And then you're gonna go actually. Okay, and what that is is you're gonna hit the A string and you're gonna hammer on to two, pull off again to zero, and then hit strings three and four open. So like this and then three and four open. And then the harmonics of it. That's at the 12th fret, strings three and four again. Easy enough, right? Okay, now, there's a lot of bits and pieces to this very simple song, so don't get, over, don't get overwhelmed. If you're a new player, you're going to need help. That's why I'm here. If you need help with left hand, right hand, or knowledge of the guitar, theory, and that sort of thing, here's some resources for you. One, hit me up on Twitter and Facebook. I'll answer your questions for you. Um, that's number one. Number two is the ebook that you can find at yourguitarsage.com. Links are below unstoppablegutarsystem.com. There's a free video series that you can't find anywhere, not even here on YouTube. So go to there, um, and that's where you're going to find a ton of left and right hand technique, a lot of which you've probably never been shown before. Okay, So go there. Uh, if you're a, a lover of animals like I am, please spay and neuter your dogs and cats. If you like this video, hit thumbs up, hit subscribe, and let me be your guitar teacher. I'm Eric Andreas, your guitar sage. See ya.